everybody, it's Armour here with the ghost. He's again he's, Hello. Not, gonna, he's not gonna be a disembodied voice anymore. Um <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Again, the, I said this in the last review, which will be uploaded before this one, obviously. The fan is because of the summer and also to help him sleep at night, so that answers that. But we are looking <laughs> into Discord options to prevent that, but that will be done later on. Yeah. So, it's going to go reverse for me, but I have the FQC flavor, the juice. On Ray's end, it will not be reversed. See, it's for, really nice. The uh, Discord tends to do that thing where it's it's mirrored. For me, for him, it probably looks normal. Maybe. For me, it's mirrored. Um, him, he looks normal. He may look mirrored on his end. Uh, actually, it's mirrored on my end, so yeah, that's what I I'm think saying. it's just a case of perspective. It's Discord. That's how it does it. But um, if I if I do it directly from Streamlabs, it's not mirrored. It's just Discord. So I'm using the Butters Shaker Cup. Now I'm choosing this for the one reason, based on the pinkish part. I feel like it's gonna be pink. I'll keep mine off screen at the moment. Yeah, and I, uh, I have not opened it. I only did the little plastic thing. Nice. Oh my god. I think you heard me earlier, so I mean. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna show it. It's fucking glared. The scooper uh, is at the very top. For once. For once, yeah. Yeah, it was at the very top, just sticking out. But I have to deal with the powder situation. Because it's packed in there. Yeah, because people don't realize that's an extra, like, two servings in that thing. When it's packed in like that, I mean. That's why you, uh... There we go. Got a nice... Again, the webcam doesn't do any justice for the glare. Eventually, I'll yeah. find a way around it, but... I, I almost made that mistake. I was going to put the fucking... Top, top, top of the seeker cup on the tub. And I've done You've that. You've done that a couple times. I have done that. But it was also like right next to it, so it's like the first instinct I do. Understandable. And immediately, yeah, I, I was right. Now I can bring mine on screen. Yeah. See, I went a different route with, with the shaker cups once I stopped shaking it like a fucking madman. Yeah. He has a laptop, by the way, so he shakes with it. <laughs> Ah, True. You gotta go with your Castro. See, I chose it because, well, I'm not gonna get the clear that XQC cup because I mean those sold out like fucking madness. They sold within about but, six uh, minutes. Yeah, and so I looked into my collection. I'm like, well, shit, what can I do that would actually match someone? And it's just like I look over. And it's just like, right, the Castro actually matches the colors. And actually, so does the butters, to be honest, with the color of the, uh... I could see that, yeah. So, I, I didn't even smell powder. So it's I very milk. Kind of a mix of pineapple in that. A, a very small hint. It, it, there's like a small hint of it in comparison to the Bahama Mama. This one? Also a fantastic flavor. Some kind of reminds me like a fruit punch kind of smell. I'll, I'll be legit with you with my with repeating my own first impression when I tried this the other evening because I was a little curious. Uh, it really smelled like this very particular blend of um, Hawaiian punch. Mm. Like a tropical Hawaiian punch. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure they sell them now, though, still, but I mean, I don't know how much the formulas have changed over the last, you know, 20 or so years, but. Well, no, I've had it, it was... in the last couple of years, so I still pretty fresh in my head. Yeah, so I'm drawing upon my childhood from remembering it, and it's just like, this tastes a lot like that. With a hint of watermelon inside of it as well, very small. Not 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 like no, I get, the, I get the little subtle hint. With a, it's yeah, like a, it's, it's, a, it's like, like an aftertaste. Melon. 
It's like an aftertaste mm-hmm. of watermelon. Yeah, I posted the dark melon, which we did a, a while back, and where it was like an overpowering amount of like power mint and then the watermelon. This goes down mellow. It does. See, you only like you got like a like a bite of the pineapple, which is trop- like a tropical Hawaiian pine. So you get that pineapple bite to it. That it finishes off yeah. with a subtle watermelon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a, it's it's comparable to the Bahama Mama, but it's not overpowering with the pineapple in comparison. No, it's not at all. Um. Let's see, yeah. Because I, I go to fruit powders too, because sometimes that will actually determine a few things. Yeah. Watermelon and pineapple fruit powders are in this. Like, I I took my first sip of this a couple of nights ago, and it's just like, wow, that is really fresh. That That's the way I can describe this flavor, is it's very fresh. It's very interesting. I'm really looking forward to when I'm able to get Mega Potion. Yeah, uh, Mega Potion is going to be interesting because, again, it's yet another crossover flavor. It is, but it's using an exotic fruit. Which is something that interests me because I like, I feel like G Fuel is at its best when it's stepping outside of its box. It's gonna be like the uh, it's gonna be like Martin House at this point with beers. Honestly, with the pe- pending chili dog flavor, yeah. And that's if it's legit still. Um, I still they still they say July, so I'm quite curious if they continue or if not. Because if they do, I would buy it just to see, but I'll still make everyone suffer with me. Look, I will I will take one for the team and try it. If nothing else. Then because it comes with free peach rings. Yeah, no kidding. I think that's probably what they're going to end up doing, doing like that as like a gag flavor to still do it, but still give you a good flavor so you get your money's worth. I feel like that's what they're going to do. Which I'm fine with because, you know, I am always about refilling my uh, my peach rings. Oh, I know. You said you were, you're, you're out too, so. Yeah, I've got like one serving left. <laughs> it's it's that good, people, because it's one of those flavors that works so harmoniously with water and milk, and the milk tastes. Oh gosh, is that peaches and it cream? Tastes, yeah, it does. It tastes like peaches and cream. Which I, like, I don't know how you did it, Chief Fuel, but you did it, and apparently t- mixes really well with the uh, wumpa fruit. So I'll need to get my hands on that as well. So, the flavor is like an 8 for me. Not a perfect 10, but it's an 8. For me, it's an 8.5 just because now I have something in my kitchen that can harken back to the magical days of when I could uh, just down unhealthy shit like Hawaiian Punch left and right. Yep, 8 dabs out of 10. <laughs> Had to go the dab route for this. Had to. More like... More like the dab melon, am I right? Yeah, I wish. They, would, they need to change it to that. Um, <laughs> because I got something else here, which I'll discuss after this video, which will make you hungry more. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> um, so currently, people, we have some flavors left, not counting the ones that are, are releasing in the near future with, like, the Sour Demonade and the... And the potion from Monster Hunter. But um, we have the Pink Drip, which came out like about a month ago, I believe. Yeah, um, that one's interesting, <clears throat> uh, in my opinion. I haven't uh, seen it, obviously, we, but I'm still curious. Of though. course. We have the uh, Boysenberry, which I think is going to be a knockout for both of us. Uh, Scorpion Sting. The Scorpion Sting. And those are the only three remaining flavors at the moment, with the except with the caveat of me not having tried Shiny Splash as of yet because it's been sold out. 
pretty much. And I, if they had that to buy one get one, I would have just done a separate buy one get one for each of us at that time, but it wasn't available, so I didn't do it. Plus, it was a hectic time, the holidays and all that. Eh, there's a lot of things that were hectic during that time for me. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's no big deal. I mean, they'll have another BOGO, or if they were really lucky, they'll just restock it on Amazon and, you know, we can work it out that way, and I can just kind of, like, do it as a supplementary thing where when we're doing one of the newer flavors, I can just be like, and here's my review, Shiny Splash. Pretty much. Plus, again, we'll be doing different mixes of different flavors. Which yes, be because, interesting. because one of the beauties of G Fuel, and something we need to branch out into more because, uh, again, we're a little behind, is... Um, some of them mix really well together. And the reason why is because, well, for one, it's more of me at the time, work was so fucking impossible, I couldn't do it. Um, oh, yeah. Cats. And on top of that, I mean, <clears throat> it's not just that. It's also just the fact that, you know, G Fuel at that time had a bit of a a thing with just really sh releasing here's a flavor, 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 here's a flavor. There's like a flavor or two every single month. They thankfully slow down a bit. But anyway, again, we will probably make that announcement probably during the first time we do it, which we'll set that probably sometime next week. Optimistically. I feel like it's all dependent on more so on him than it is me. So. <laughs> Between your net, your power. <laughs> well, I mean, it's always one thing or another. If it's not me, then it's something going on with you. Like, either it's a power outage for you, or, you know. Where? I've only had that happen once. <laughs> you say that now. You say that now. But with what you've told me about what's going on with the power company, that might be happening a whole lot more often. Yeah, with the whole Ericot being, um... Douche nozzles? I'm just going to say, pretty much just bullying people at this point. So, but that's the yeah. best ever discussion during probably Sunday. Yes. I'll rant about that on Sunday. Well, Saturday and Sunday, because I mean... Sunday? Well, Saturday's going to be like the beer stream. Well, I was going to say, beer streams are for any kind of ranting. True, but we usually try to discuss other things that I'd rather save for Sunday. So. That's fair. That's fair. So, again, this was a happy review. I will probably be checking the audio early in case we have to do something. Because if it comes to it, we'll just do both in one video and be done with it. Yep, I mean, we've had to do it before. We've had to do it with three flavors before. Well, um... That was I, once. It was, one, it was one of those we had to do, uh... Either way, they're all taken care of and uploaded, so it doesn't matter now. Mm -hmm. But until next time, folks. Check the backlog if you're curious. Yeah, I of course have been Zara. That has been the Gnomish Ghost. Later, everybody. Bye bye.